Welcome geeks to New Code Rules. Today I want to talk about something that's a little bit off topic, but I'll get around to uh, why it applies to apps at the end of New Code Rules today. So this is really new OS rules today. Operating systems must make it easy to restore apps and user data. The reason this happens is because when I'm working on benchmarking for my code performance book, I start Windows in diagnostics mode because it gets rid of all the extra services and things and just the needed services so I can run my benchmark test. Well, a couple of weeks ago, I was having issues yet again with OneDrive and I couldn't figure out how to move, restore some folders. And so I thought maybe I can start in diagnostics mode and uh, maybe I can move them that way. Uh, so I started in diagnostics mode and I could not log into Windows at all. I researched and I researched and I researched how to fix this and absolutely nothing worked. And so before I was getting ready for this show, I needed to get Windows working again. So I decided, heck, I'm just gonna do a restore and, and see what happens. So the restore worked. The problem with restore is that you know, when you do that, uh, all of your apps disappear. So no apps on the computer, except for what comes with the operating system. And much of your user data disappears, including cookies and, and logins and things like that. It did keep my files, but basically everything was gone. A week later, I needed to run my benchmarks tests and I started in diagnostics mode. And guess what happened again? I could not log into Windows, research, research, tried everything, and uh, had to restore again. So twice in, in, in one week, basically, I had to restore Windows. That was horribly frustrating for me, but just imagine what that is for normal users. So I had to go through the process of reinstalling all my apps, Chrome to run the show. Uh, I had to start logging, re-logging on to all the you know, websites and, and apps that I use. And some of the, the, the logins I forgot. And uh, on one website, it took them a week to help me get logged back in because their resetting re, uh, the password didn't work. So Microsoft and Apple need to make this really, really easy for any user to restore their operating system and keep all of their apps and all of their user data and all of their files. I know this is possible. The reason is because I've had a Mac uh, ever since about 2005. And the one thing I'm very, very impressed with Apple is when you buy a new Mac, the first thing the new Mac says is, do you have an old Mac? You say yes, and you plug in a cable. It used to be Firewire, now I think it's USB-C. You plug in a cable and say, okay. And it says, okay, what do you want to move over? And you can select all your apps, all your data, all those kind of things. And you, you have to wait an hour or two, but at the end of the hour or two, your machine works. Everything works, including Wi-Fi. It's really amazing that Apple does this, but Microsoft doesn't. The only problem with Macs is even though this is a great feature when you get a new computer, uh, Macs don't have a restore option. So I'm not sure why, but they need to basically get the same restore, kind of like what Windows does, but keep all the apps. So again, Apple and Microsoft needs to make this really simple for any user, like my grandma, to be able to do this. When I was thinking about this, I thought of the, you know, the dummies books, and it needs to be that simple. You shouldn't need to read anything. You shouldn't need to go to the website. You should just press a couple buttons and have the operating system do it for you. So Apple and Microsoft, you have to work on this. Apple, you're almost there. You just need to implement the restore feature. Microsoft, you have a lot of work to do. So Microsoft Windows, you need to make this as easy to move all files, user data, and apps to a new computer. And while I know this probably doesn't sell operating systems, Microsoft, if you do this, it could increase sales of Surface and other computers that you sell. Because one of the things that I dread doing almost as much as moving my home is getting a new computer because then I have to go, oh, I have to reinstall everything. I have to move all my files over. I have to, you know, re-log into everything. Nothing, no security, nothing's going to work. So, so Microsoft, you need to work on this because I'm sure it'll increase sales. And to bring this back around to development is that, you know, application users 
you know, for consumer-based or business-based applications that are installed on the machine. And I think a solution to that, which is possible now, is not storing a lot of data on the machine, if not any at all, and store it all in the cloud, you know. So the next time you, the app comes up, user logs in and boom, they have all their configuration, they have all their user data, everything's there. This is possible. It just takes a little bit more work, just takes a little bit more architecture, and we can get there. But Microsoft needs to drive this from Windows down to the app developer. So that's it for this week's new code rules. Let me know your thoughts. I'd like to hear from you on this subject. You can email me there at uh, rockinthecodeworld at csharpcorner.com. And if you want to catch up on the old episodes of new code rules, make sure to go to that URL. And of course, uh, don't forget to watch my show on Saturday morning. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next time on New Code Rules.